So the Delta variant is fueling new COVID cases in New York City. And if you still have not been vaccinated, health officials are urging you to do so. Joining us now is Dr. Dave Chachki, New York City's health commissioner. Dr. Chachki, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks as always for having me, Betty. Absolutely. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this Delta variant because a lot of people have been talking about it and many people are seriously concerned and for good reason. You're seeing uh, cases rise. Who is primarily getting sick? Yes, thank you. I am concerned about the Delta variant and my concern is primarily for people who remain unvaccinated. Uh, the reason is that, um, you know, we know this virus is wily. It's proven itself to be a formidable foe and it will find the cracks in our armor. Um, right now, the greatest cracks in our armor are the places and the people who remain unvaccinated. And that's why it's so important. If people have been waiting, if you've been on the fence, now is the right time to get the shot so that you can get protection from not just the Delta variant, but all of the versions of the virus that are currently circulating in New York City. Let me ask you about this because we are hearing that among those who are headed to the hospital, unfortunately because of the virus and are unfortunately dying, most of those cases are people who are unvaccinated. Is that also the Delta variant? Yes, that's exactly right. That is something that has remained consistent over the last few months, which is that almost all people who are experiencing severe illness, that means um, requiring oxygen, having to go to the hospital, requiring a breathing tube or other intensive care, uh, almost all of those people are not yet fully vaccinated. Um, and that means that it's avoidable, it's preventable. This is suffering that uh, we can do something about. Uh, and the shot is what helps us provide that protection. But are most of those cases the Delta variant as well? Um, well, we're seeing in New York City right now about half of all cases are the Delta variant. So it is true that a significant uh, proportion of people who are getting hospitalized are very likely due to the Delta variant. Um, and we expect that proportion to grow in the coming weeks based on what we're seeing about the trajectory of the Delta variant around the world. Okay, so and I, I want to make sure this is very clear to our viewers, doctor. If more people do not get vaccinated, what kind of dangers does this Delta variant pose for New York as a whole? Certainly. Um, well, the Delta variant we know is more contagious. That means it is much easier to spread the virus. Um, and that means that, uh, you know, the interactions that uh, people may be having, particularly if they're unvaccinated, put them at higher risk. Um, that's an individual thing. That's, you know, the protection that mm -hmm. uh, I've been talking about for people. Um, but it also means because of that uh, ease of spread um, that cases could, con could continue to go up further. Um, we've started to see that in the last few days. Um, but we also know that vaccination can curb that spread. So we have a tool to fight against that. And speaking of those vaccinations, I want to ask you about these booster shots that we're all hearing of. Last week, Pfizer said it was working on a third shot, while the CDC and the FDA said it might still be a little too soon for that. What do you think about these boosters? Is that something that you think is likely uh, something that we're all going to have to get? We're tracking this very closely. Uh, what I can say clearly is that the science does not indicate that anyone needs a booster shot at this moment. Okay. Um, but there are studies that are actively ongoing, uh, which indicate that a booster may be warranted sometime in the future. And I can tell you that the city is planning and preparing for that. It may be only for um, certain individuals, you know, who have uh, less immunity. But mm -hmm. we have to wait for the science to really bear out um, what needs to happen. I think some people just breathe a big sigh of relief when you said you don't think at this moment that a booster is needed, but we'll wait to see what the science says. But speaking of those like yourself who have contracted COVID-19 and got vaccinated, do you have an increased sense of immunity because of that? Um, the short answer is yes. And the most important point is if you have had COVID-19 in the past, once you've recovered, it's very important for you to get vaccinated. And the Delta variant actually makes it more important. The reason is that vaccination further boosts your immunity. The evidence that we have is it does this both in terms of the strength of your immunity and potentially also for the duration of your immunity. So I know that some people have been waiting to get vaccinated mm -hmm. because they had COVID-19 and so they thought they were fully protected. Right. It is true that you have some protection 
but I urge everyone to get as much protection as you possibly can by getting vaccinated as well. Especially if it boosts your immunity to it. Okay, Dr. Chashi, as always, so good to talk to you. Thank you for the information that you provided today. Of course, thanks for having me. All right, take care.